Hi guys, this is Mitz. One of the very first projects that you'll probably run on your Onefinity is to lay out and attach your spoil board or waste board to your tabletop and surfacing it. Whether you decide to go with T-tracks or inserts and dogs, the process will be the same. In today's video, I'm going to go over how we use the Onefinity itself to lay out and attach the spoil board to your tabletop. So let's get started. So let's start by homing our machine. Okay, now that we're in the home position, everything should look uh, green on your board except for the Z under toolpath, which is always going to show over. So don't worry about that until we um, start zeroing a uh, project. So in my CAD software, I use CarveCo. I created a square 32 inches by 32 inches, and I set the depth of cut at zero. That's very important here. So depth of cut zero, and let's open that program. 32 inches square, open. Okay, so now we'll uh, set the bit up. And I'm using a 30 degree V bit to score the tabletop. So we're going to lower the Z so that the bit tip is just barely into the tabletop. And once that bit is set, we'll come back in here and zero Z. Okay, and now that's done, we can uh, start the program. So now that we've finished scoring the uh, tabletop, we have essentially a box. Um, and if I were to measure it, and I'm going to use the uh, Onefinity in its furthest location, you can see on the screen that it's 32.126 inches and 32 by uh, 32.126 inches. Um, that's the limits of the machine itself and like I said we've got a scored box on the tabletop now we can get uh, started on laying out our wasteboard so I had taken my wasteboard off um, just to, to show you how to do this uh, so I'm going to pop it back on and uh, I'm going to use that score line on on the left side of my wasteboard um, and then, uh, you know, attach it to the table. Okay, so that's the first piece on. Um, and I use a T-Track, so I'm going to go grab a T-Track, get that in, and then just work my way across, always making sure that I'm on the front score line. Um, everything, if you're lined up perfectly on the left, everything should work its way across. Ok, 
Okay, so that's the T-Track in place. Now I'll bring another section of uh, waste board in and get that laid down, work my way across, and this should be done in no time. So that's all there is to locating and laying out your spoil board and attaching it to your tabletop. If you haven't received your Onefinity yet, I'd hi highly recommend waiting on attaching your spoil board to the table until you do. It's a whole lot easier to have the machine define the cutting area for you once it's in place, rather than having to nudge it around to make sure you're taking advantage of that full cutting area. It is possible to make your spoil board a little bit wider uh, and longer than the 32 and an eighth inch cutting area, but not by a whole lot. I wouldn't recommend going more than 32 and three quarter inch so that when you go to surface your spoil board, the larger diameter of your bit will still clear uh, the surface of the spoil board that sits outside of the cutting area. Just be sure to compensate for the extra width and length of your spoil board when laying it out onto your tabletop. If you go in our next video, we're going to cover how to surface your spoil board. Lane Mims and I will cover a couple of different ways, so stay tuned. Again, thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.